Hi, I'm Natalia. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the concept of well allocation and show you how it's implemented in the hydrocarbon accounting system. Here is a simple oil and gas production scenario. Multi-phase fluids, in other words, a mixture of oil, water and gas are produced from the wells and separated at the plant. The separated streams are measured here at the export points. We want to know how much of each separated stream came from each well. For accounting purposes, that is important because the measured quantities are used as the basis for sales and for all kinds of reporting. But the well fluids are not directly measured. There's no metering on these flow lines. So how do we determine the quantities? Well, the only way is to calculate them using an allocation process. The allocation process takes an estimate of the quantities from each well, and normally that comes from a well test, but I'll come back to that, and allocates the measured quantities back to the wells in proportion to the estimates. Let's take a look at how that works. So here we are in Axis, and we are looking at a plant called the Bravo Central Processing Facility. The day we are interested in is the 10th of March, and the oil to be allocated is just over 17,000 barrels. There are actually three oil meters, but the other two are zero. There is about 3,400 barrels of water on this day, and the gas is just over 4 million cubic feet of export, and 0.9 million of fuel. There is also a flare gas meter, but the volume is zero. Now, let's look at the well test. There are eight active wells, and this screen shows their latest well test. The wells have a range of different rates. The highest is about 3,400 barrels of oil per day, and the lowest is just under 600. Now let's look at the well data for the day we are interested in. You can see that all eight wells are flowing. There's no downtime. And at the moment, the system hasn't yet calculated the allocated volumes. So we'll go to the allocation screen and run the allocation for the 10th of March. Now let's go back to the well data screen and we can see that the metered volumes have been allocated to the wells in proportion to the well test rates. By using well test as the estimate of production from each well, we are assuming that the wells will continue to produce at exactly the same rate as when they were tested, but that's not a very accurate method of estimating. Often, we prefer to use other methods such as a well model that uses knowledge of the reservoir and the well design, and other measurements such as bottom hole pressure to predict production rates. Look out for that in a future video, but that's all for now, and hope you found this overview useful.